All right, how's it going guys? It's Diamond here. Uh, my neighbors are extremely annoying right now with the country folk music. I haven't slept in days. I am sick as can be, yet I'm still recording a video. I have no idea how I'm still up right now, but yeah, welcome back to another plugin showcase where today I'm going to be explaining to you guys the most complex plugin that I completely did not want to explain to you at all, which is Luckperms. Luckperms is a permission-based plugin where you have a web editor, you can edit it in-game if you want either, and it's Bungie supported, it has so many features just for a single free plugin. You can find the description down below and I have two notifications to put on screen right now if you can see it. If I didn't put them on, well, I'm stupid. Yeah. So. First of all, hello. and a quick shout out to my buddy Naturalize. I, I'm sorry if I say your name incorrectly. Everything is on screen right now. And a few links to him is going to be in the description down below. He actually made the thumbnail of this video. So if you guys want your own thumbnail, check him out because he's amazing. So yeah, let's get started on this plugin because I've been rambling about. It's been around two minutes already. So let's get started on this. So first of all, I am going to put a few things out there. I'm going to explain to you guys what I know and the basics of what you need to know. If you guys want to learn more complex stuff, go to the wiki and learn from the wiki because this is the basics. So you guys can start off adding your own permissions this is what you're mainly going to be using from now on and yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to be mainly focusing on the web editor and not in-game commands so that is the difference right there so if you guys want to know more about in-game commands i would go over to cause for christ he actually did a video for in-game commands it's a bit outdated but it still works fine for me i learned a bit from him but if you really want to learn, read the wiki and use the basic commands that I'm going to I'm going to explain to you guys here. So let's get started. We're three minutes in. So to get started, I'm going to explain to you guys that the basic commands which you guys are going to need is LP. LP shows you, well, LP is pretty much the basic commands of everything. And what we're going to start out with is I'm going to start creating groups, creating tracks. I'll explain tracks in a bit, adding permissions, setting users to certain groups and adding prefixes to your game. Now, here's a quick thing. Prefixes do not work. You must need a secondary plugin such as Essentials Chat, which a lot of servers already have, or a premium plugin such as Chat Control. There, it's up to you. You can use premium or free. It doesn't matter. It's going to be up to you how you ever want to do it. But yeah, you have to enable it with them in order to have custom chats with prefixes. So that's mainly it. So in order to create a group, all you got to do is LP, create group, and then you just got to add a name to a group. I'm going to mess around with staff and and just casual ranks that you give to other players. So for example, I'm going to create VIP and MVP. So there we go. And I'm also going to create a few for staff, such as mod and admin and owner. So as you can see right there, I created some basics ones. As you can see here, I didn't actually create a member rank or a default rank because the plugin already comes pre-set up with it. So you guys can actually just, so say a player logs in, they're gonna have a default set as their first rank. Of course you can change it in the config, but it's not really necessary because you could change it from default to member, which doesn't really make any difference because they can't actually see the name. It's whatever prefix you added it, they actually see the name. So that's really up to you. Now, what we can do is create tracks. Tracks is a basic way to make like, to, for example, leveling them up. That's the best way I can actually explain it. Um, pretty much what they will do is, let's create one and I'll explain it to you while we go. Uh, all you gotta do is LP create track and then you gotta name it. So I'm gonna go, for example, we can have staff. So there's gonna be a track for staff and then there's also gonna be a track for rank ranks so pretty much these are ranks that players can get um now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do lp track and in the track you want to choose so i choose ranks and then append and pretty much append what it will do is it, it's gonna pretty much level up one rank to another rank so i'm gonna do lp track and then the name so mine's ranks and then append and then this is gonna be the first one that it appends from so default and then from default i wanted to level up to vip and then from vip we can do mvp so as you can see right there the arrow kind of pretty much shows it all once you add so pretty much you can run this as a command and run it to a player so say they have default when the command is run the the plugin will give them vip and if it run again you can give them mvp so it's just a simple process instead of having to do um like changing their ranks overall you could like first a command or anything like that you can just add this for a simple command say you have a prison server or anything like that it's not really a gimmick it works out great i really recommend you guys try using it it also works great for bycraft if you know how to use it correctly so we can also do one for example staff so i'm just going to change this one to mod and i'm going to change ranks into well the track i created which is staff so from that uh i can actually start from mod i can go admin and admin i can go to owner now you don't have to add it. That's actually optional. So say I didn't want to add owner there. 
boom i did not own it there so from moderator they're gonna get admin so they would need moderator first and pretty much that's how it work it's super simple like that tracks are a great way and i really recommend checking them out using them more playing around with them now what we can do is adding permissions now like i said i'm gonna be using the web editor quite a lot in this all right in order to go to the web editor now there are three ways you can go to it you can do lp user and then you can add a username and an editor what that will do will send you a link directly to the user and then if you click yes just like that don't worry it's not a virus or anything it's going to send you directly towards the link where you can edit all your permissions or anything like that on a web which is really cool and then you can just send it back straight into minecraft this web editor is amazing so as you can see here i have my own page right there i can also do a rank if i wanted to so instead of user i would put group and then do and then add a certain group so for example owner i can go ahead and do editor after and then that will also give me a link which i can go ahead and click and then just go ahead and check it out right here so this will only show me the owners but say you don't want to do it this way it's kind of tedious let's do one by one it's really kind of a fuss and you think like this isn't the best way i could do this like in a single config and it'll be faster true but like i said i don't use this plugin for no reason it is legit the best free pre permission plugin you can find out there it's better than pex and group manager anything like that so if you just do lp editor with nothing else you can go ahead and grab the link and here you would have every single thing you have every group you created every person that's online on the server would be right here so you can see i have admin default mod mvp owner and vip and well me of course pretty simple like that i actually love the feature so as we're here i'm going to show you guys how to add permissions set people to certain groups and yeah that's pretty much it so i can go over to myself and as you can see here i already am pretty set up to group default what i can do though is set myself to owner just by typing the group owner of course you're going to need a group to in order to in order for it to work and the next thing we could do is inherent inherent is pretty simple it's the same way as like in pex for example but you don't have to type inherent or anything like that what you have to do is pretty much let's go to the default so default inherits from default because it's the default rank now what we can do is from default we can go to vip and inherit all the permissions we had on default we don't have currently any permissions but i'll add some permissions in a bit this is just inherence if you guys don't understand what inherence is you just grab all the permissions from one rank and you take it over to the other rank instead of having to write everything all over again it really helps out so all you gotta do is click this plus button right here and it gives you it that simple and say if i wanted to inherit everything from vip and default i don't have to type uh, like if i want to put a vip and default all into this one group i don't have to type default and vip all i have to do is just type vip because vip is already inheriting from default and then mvp is going to be inheriting from vip which is inheriting from default so it really helps out i love the features now say i didn't want moderators to inherit from vip just don't add it you can do it just from default for example and it's super simple like that and then you can also go to admin and i want admins inherent from moderators and i can just add that pretty simple as well and i want owners to inherent from admin like that so just make sure there's a little dot between group and the name and pretty much that's legit it that's how in inherent it's really simple and i love that now say for example we want inherent but we don't want inherent anything from moderators what we can do is just put the word mod add that and then as you can see here there's a value you can just click on false well you can click on it it'll change to false you have other things such expire you can put it never you have servers well you can this is for bungie of course you can add in different servers and you can enable it yes or no it's really up to you but i'm on a single server this really doesn't matter then we also have world support so say if i had a hub and a mini games world and etc we can have multi-world support right here and then you also have context which you you can mess around with if you want so pretty much um that's legit it for that and what we're gonna do is just add some basic permissions so say if i wanted to give permission to this one what i really love about this as you can see right there a menu just popped up and this menu will give you a list of the current plugins that actually have permissions in your server so say if i wanted to give them um, essentials all i gotta just type a few words and it will show you quite a large list so i'm gonna do essentials and then dot let's go let's give them essentials dot fly for default and i can just go ahead and click on that and let's give them a few other ones you can add as many as you want there's no limit we can do safe login for fly and it's pretty amazing and let's do mltd so they get the mltd of course and then there we go we got some basic ones so everything we just added here vip is inheriting from it it's super simple i don't have to retype all that here i love it it's amazing now say we didn't want to give vip the power to check out the mltd of the day we can just go ahead and give them the deny access so there you go the value is to false and they will not see the mltd even though they're inheriting from default 
that is really amazing and say if i wanted to give moderators the their own stuff as well so for example I have a staff plugin in here so all we can do is like do staff dot follow and that's pretty much the permissions permissions is super simple to edit in this one and i really love it because you can just it's a few clicks away so we can do staff and then staff chat and then say we don't want to give admin staff chat we can just go ahead and click on it and then click on the false value we can add a certain world that will be enabled only in so they only get the false value in this world here so just like that only the hub that it will not work but it'll work in other worlds so this is really amazing but say if i wanted to give owner just their own permission of course like for example owners usually have all the permissions so remember star gives you every single permission just by doing that boom you don't have to click the plus as well you can click enter if you wish and yeah i can also give it to myself if i want even though i'm up it's really up to you i love it once you are done you can go ahead and click save and then it'll give you a link right here and then just pop back in and then control v the link right there and click enter and as you can see all the permissions i just messed with and all the groups and everything i added was added super simple like that i love it it's amazing you guys should totally check it out it's worth it now say if you wanted to add a prefix to your to a certain rank you can just do it simply by just doing lp group meta add prefix and then this is pretty much the value you can add it to different ones so for example moderators are going to have the val the pretty much the weight of 90 so this is just a weight and then they're going to have they're going to have that tag as you can see it's color coded so they're going to have purple and then we can also do one for admin which is going to be a red and they're going to have the weight as 100 meaning they're going to be above moderators so as if we do lp editor and then we can go back in it now these like i would recommend not messing around with these anymore since these are old and if you save anything from that you're gonna get everything deleted so just use the most recent one you open that's how it works and then as you can see right here if you go to admin we have our prefix right here you can even just copy this and send in change it to other ones if you want it's just a simple really way and then you also have the ones for moderators it's really nice i love it it's great and you can just add that to all of yours it's perfect it's super simple it's better than pex in my opinion and yeah that's pretty much the basics of the plugin like i said really go check out the wiki because that's where it's worth ch reading and i rec i'm gonna be honest reading the wiki is a tedious process and it sounds boring but once you once you're in it and you're really enjoying yourself you're gonna start loving it reading the wiki is the best way to learn not just by a single video but really trying to get yourself learning this plugin that's what i really recommend so if you guys like this video don't forget to leave a like in the description down below i'm sorry this video took out took so long to make i've been trying to record so many videos at the same time but my recorder software is just not happy with me today and yeah so if you guys could just leave a like because i like i said i've been trying to record this for so long and yeah i'm diamond and i'll see you guys next time cheers Oh, 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 oh,